Alright guys, now we're going to mess around here with the game settings. So we'll click on that. Now players lives to collect the max value. Say you can get extra lives in your game and there's up to you know 20 lives, 30 lives, 40 lives. But you can, uh, most you know games traditionally had 3 lives. But if you had extra, I guess you have to put in a max value of it. Now you come down to the title screen. And you can select your image and your music. Or we can go to... I'll show you. We'll go to the title menu editor, and we're going to set this up. Now, I want to do with my title image. I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to look for my title screen. Now, this is an 800 by 600 image that I did, and when I made this background picture, because this is what will show up when you go to play the game, I added the buttons onto that picture for the start game, open game, delete, exit, high scores and I'll go back into Photoshop and re-edit this to add my credits and say the storyline and now the credits and storylines that would be under the extra buttons I'll explain that in a minute alright so this is how we're gonna do because right now if you clicked on those they wouldn't do anything they're just dead buttons there's little images there but what we're gonna do here is I'm going to go down to the standard buttons all right first start new game and I'm going to click at to make sure that uh, there's a start new game button you see this little image appears up here now I'm going to click on edit all right now that's edited and now I'm going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard I'm going to push down you know to get it to come down and we'll go up a little smidge and I'll use the arrow keys to move over now you see that it's kind of small and it doesn't do the whole button and if people were clicked over here over to the word game it wouldn't work so now what we want to do this blinking light here that's what triggers the actions so what I want to do is I want to stretch this out a little bit bigger now it all starts from a this is the I guess the starting point the uh, I guess this would be the left corner here and so you can only stretch the image over this way and down so by doing that, I'm going to hold down the shift key and then hit my arrow facing right to stretch it out so it hangs a little bit over. And then while holding down the shift key, I'll push the arrow key down. And just to make it easier to hit, I'm going to go back to the arrow key just to shift it up. Um, so holding the shift and the arrow keys will actually resize it, but just using the arrow, arrow keys will move it. Now my next button I want to do would be open a save game. So I'll tick that and I'll want to edit that one. And now you see right back up here in the corner a new box appears. So again we go down with the arrows. Scroll you down. I'll scroll you a little bit over. Hold down the shift key. Right to stretch it out. Down to widen that a little bit and then I'll go with the arrow key up a little. And you see you do this for all the buttons delete save game I'll go back here I'm gonna edit that yep, click on that to edit that again we pop up here and I'm going to use the arrow key down over a little bit shift stretch right down a little bit there I'll take that up just for the heck of it alright here show high score I'll take that one and again arrow keys come down da -da -da -da. swing this guy over and that looks pretty good on that button ah now I just moved the delete save game didn't hit the edit button sorry about that guys let's go back up that's why it works so well I'm actually setting this up for my game too that's why I care about this alright so let's bring that back up alright so I have up there is my show high score let me click that here on edit for the show high score bring yay down I know this is interesting as we move it across the screen there we go I'll come down a little bit shift down and over dial a bit more to make at and then just because I'm anal I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna tick on the exit 
edit the exit bring gay down get more than you bargain for here I'll bring that up hold on shift come down draw that in and now those are all set now like I said if I want to add a credits button I come over to uh, extra button one and tick it and you'll see it appear up there and then you move it over the same way with the arrow keys but we'll get rid of that because you need to click edit and it would come down and go over but what the extra keys are for are basically to open up other pages so say if I wanted to do credits like me Johnny Thurway Skip Peter so we all worked on this game I would do an 800 by 600 image and write everybody's names in it who did graphics who did sign all this stuff and when they would click on that button it would bring up that screen just like if you want to add a, like you know say a story with written words you can add you know uh, the story a story button down there you know add an extra button and bring it over and uh, but anyway so that's kind of uh, working with the title menu and then for the heck of it the music that'll play drawing it I'm gonna go with the uh, neck music okay and the uh, game over screen you can't get as detailed into it but you know you can add your image for the you know, game over to music you know the victory and now we come down here to the game window and if you want to put a caption there like uh, Joe made this game or something you could type that into that line right there which we don't care now uh, full screen mode I like to be able to switch to, uh, to go to full screen mode and change resolution so I select both those and you let the people know in your instruction you know if your instruction button that uh, pressing F4 will switch from full to window you can either do it as F4 or you can go through and choose any button you want to actually make it uh, switch to window mode and same thing with the level restart you see that you can press R or you can make it you know say enter to restart the level whatever whatever you choose and now if you come over here to the high score this will actually show a high score and if you have it ticked it'll uh, appear for display and you can set a background image for it whatever you want probably like another 800 by 600 image I haven't messed with that yet then you can choose your font family like you said you know go through all those the font size bold italic font color transparency and then you have your name input panel which you have your background color which obviously you can choose on all these colors font left 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 now if I hold down the H you actually see the high score you know so the you know, the image will be shown back here, and then the players will be shown here. You don't actually get to see the, uh, when you hold down the H button, you don't actually get to see the little enter box. But the background color is blue, you know, white font. But that's something pretty uh, easy to check out and just mess with. And uh, so I think that's all the ones here for game settings. No, I know I talk fast. I'm trying to just get people going through. And again, as always, save your game. Yes, I do. All right, guys, so that should be the visual settings button. A quick breakdown on that. And again, thanks for stopping by. Or bye, guys. I'm all tongue-tied. I don't know what I'm doing. I do these on the fly. And I think I'm going to end this right here.